welcome to another edition of Punk Science TV. Now there's actually been some complaints about my style with people saying it's just too loud. Too loud? Where are they getting that idea? <laughs> so this time we're going to tone it down a little and call it jazz science. Jazz science. Jazz science. Jazz science. So a big welcome to subscribers of the newsletter, to our YouTube subscribers and all you Facebook connections out there. My name is Dr. Mandria Samantha Lawton and in the next 10 minutes we will be discussing crushing it at Ions and Glastow. The big news about black holes. The release of the punk science movie trailer and new interviews which are available free on the internet. So I've just got back from an amazing summer speaking tour. I visited the Institute of Noetic Sciences Conference which was held in Palm Springs in Southern California. I delivered a keynote presentation there and received so much positive feedback including a standing ovation. So thank you so much for welcoming a British punk scientist to the USA. Then it was right back to old Blighty as in England for those of you who don't know for the Glastonbury Symposium where I delivered a special two hour event to a packed room despite the July heat wave and no air conditioning, this is Britain after all. At both events I revealed some brand new evidence for the black hole principle which is actually 10 years old next month. So what is the big news? Well, I'll just do a quick recap. Part of my theory is to say that the same process that occurs in black holes at the center of galaxies that creates gamma ray flashes out in space is the same process that creates the gamma ray flashes in the Earth's upper atmosphere during thunderstorms. To remind yourself of the full picture of this and all of the scientific references and the data, just refer back to my book Punk Science, it's got it all in there. What I didn't publish in that book in 2006, because I didn't have all the evidence, was that if thunderstorms are produced by black holes, then black holes must be something to do with water, as it rains during thunderstorms. So black holes probably produce water maybe even from higher dimensions. Now I didn't publish this because I thought everyone would have thought I was being ridiculous. I mean black holes don't produce water or do they? Well we can now reveal that the latest evidence shows that they do. H2O is produced in concentrated jets from black holes out in space and none of the mainstream scientists actually know why. In fact water is cropping up everywhere on Saturn's moons, on our moon, from comets. In fact the very reason why we have so much water on the earth which is actually a big mystery to current scientists could well be because the earth too is a creative black hole dynamo which is also producing water therefore the oceans and the rivers. To my knowledge this is the only theory that actually expected that black holes would produce water. There are more references to be found um, in the links below this video. There's an article in Sovereign Mind magazine and there's links to various talks. So that is the big news. Black holes produce water as predicted by the black hole principle which just goes to show that when it comes to understanding your universe you are in the right place. In more news we have at last released the punk science movie trailers. 
you can check them out at www.punksciencemovie.com. The link is below this video if you haven't already signed up to be one of the first to hear about the full movie. We've interviewed a lot of your favourites such as Bruce Lipton, Lynn McTaggart, Joe Dispenza, Dean Radin and some amazing British scientists such as Jazz Rizal and David Ash. These are people who are questioning the establishment science. It all goes to show that the spirit of punk is alive and well in this movie. So go check it out and the full movie and masterclasses will be coming soon. Just before I left for California, I met the lovely lady Lulu Massé. She's created a YouTube empire and interviewed many people such as Wayne Dyer and others around the world. But in my interview with her, I got a bit wild. So we were discussing aliens and angels and all sorts of things. If you're a Guy MTV watcher, there's a longer interview about to go live on there, but otherwise you can see it on YouTube. If you're waiting for the free seven steps course, which I mentioned in the interview, it's coming very soon and you'll receive it automatically if you've signed up through the website via paradigmrevolution.com. So you don't have to do anything. But if for any reason you don't want to receive the emails for the free video course on how to have a magical life, and um, that's what I have, a very magical life, do let me know also by clicking on the link of the email and you will be put into another group automatically and won't receive this free video course. So hope to see you soon thank you very much for listening this has been punk science tv disguised this time as jazz science i hope this has helped you gain a deeper understanding of the universe around you enjoy the rest of your summer or winter if you're in the southern hemisphere until next time remember to smash up those paradigms Thank you.